Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Dear Nath. So you all have seen some snow coverage from a few days back and we got snow after around two years so we were all so happy. So I thought why not share it with you. So after enjoying the snow let's make this breezy coaster mold and for the start what I'm doing here is I have taken a coaster, old coaster. I have put some Elmer glue onto the edges of this coaster and now I have taken this air dry clay. You can take any air dry clay or epoxy sculpt and I will be covering the edges with this air dry clay. Just pressing it onto the corners. So this was a long due uh, tutorial that I wanted to make for so long so now I got the time and I'm making it so after putting up the clay on all the edges I will be just making the shape of the clay the style I like so this is really up to you So I have gotten a few questions when I use this air dry clay onto the on making the crystal gro growing, and a lot of people say that their clay melt into the water and it's not successful for them. So I recommend you to use epoxy sculpt. It's a it's a two part air dry clay, but in my case, how I handle this air dry clay is that yes, my clay get a bit you know soft, but I know how, how to handle it, and it really works fine for me so so in this case you need to handle your project very uh, carefully because the clay is soft but it work trust me it do work and you are seeing that I use it so let it dry for around two days and after two days my clay was dried so this is the alum crystals that I use for growing my crystals so here again I'm using the Elmer glue and I will be covering the edges of this coaster with the glue just spreading it all uh, and now comes the fun part I will be spreading again the alum crystals onto the coaster Make sure I want to cover it all. So there are few ways to make your crystal mold. Uh, this is the first technique I'm sharing and later on I will be sharing more. So make sure to tap it and press the crystal onto the coaster. So here it's done and I will let it dry again for a day. So after so it's next day now and I have around two cup of alum crystal in my container to which I'm adding one cup of hot water. So it's two cup of alum crystals and one cup of hot water. You need a very concentrated solution here. So mix your solution and make sure that the crystals are all mixed into the water and after that add your coaster into the water. And I will be covering it with the cling film. So this is I have covered it and it's around and I will be five removing hours it from and the water. And I also I will be keeping the rest of the crystals into the container like that and will dry and this will again dry and I will give it around two days to dry so this is around after two days my crystals are well dried now and I can handle it and now I what I'm doing here is I am top coating the coaster because I'm making a mold and I want a very uh, shiny side so doing a top coat So 
So after doing the top coat, here is a view and these look so beautiful as they are grown. You can use and do as well, but I will be making a mold. So next day, my resin is procured and now I will be pouring my silicone. And this is a silicon I always use. It's always amazing and it's, it's a highest grade quality of the silicon and it's the best. So it's one to one, also really easy to mix. So I am taking according to the mold I want. Usually I make white silicon, clear silicon mold, but this time I'm adding a hint of gold mica into the silicon and just mixing it. Make sure you mix your two part silicon nicely. And after time, this time I'm using this glass container and put, putting up a bit, little putty into the bottom so that my coaster don't move around here and there when I will be pouring the silicon. So I got a little mistake here that I have done is that I haven't put the silicone mold release. So please make sure when you're using this, uh, making a mold, please do use some sort of oil or silicon releasing agent so that it's easy to demold for next day. So this is next day and I'm demolding it. So I got a bit struggle here because of the reason that I told you that I didn't put the mold releasing spray onto the container so this happens if you don't so after a lot of hassle and struggle it did came out So it was a long process i don't want to bore you so this is how it turned out yeah i got some silicone that got underneath so that might be an issue as well so i'm just removing the excess with the scissor Sometimes things do happen, but I'm showing you here everything. So now we're removing the coaster. So some of my crystals are stuck into the silicon, but that's that's not an issue. We will wash it later on. So I have some crystals and I later on washed it with the water and they came out. So this is how the mold turned out and I'm really really excited to use it. So next video you will be seeing me making something out of this mold. So I hope you like the tutorial. Thumbs and up like, subscribe, if you like the video. Share. Take care. Bye bye.